right up to upon starting Casa Foundation, we invited a group of partners to come on board and talk about African economic development. Uh, Africans in diaspora, how they can contribute to the development of Africa, how we could replicate the gains and the benefits that we saw across North America in Africa uh, by helping facilitating education, uh, development of education, advancing education, relieving poverty across Africa. And so that was how we all came together after the initiative of Casa Foundation mm. started from me. We thought putting the platform together where people could gain skills and competences from various experts across diverse professions mm. might help people in that journey of setting up their businesses, of learning more and all of those. So that was the initial concept of Casa Foundation. However, from what you can see, um, Casa Foundation it's, has it's actually grown. evolved. It's grown, it's generated and evolved it, into uh, something evolved quite into different. Something different. And, and that brings uh, Fatima into the picture. You've been very instrumental. Why do you think it is so important for Africa and especially Africans in the diaspora to take such initiatives so seriously as we understand from Dr. Oyelede? I grew up in Africa, and by Africa I mean I grew up in Burundi, Cameroon, Ivory Coast, and Zimbabwe. So I had the pleasure, the honor of actually calling myself an African, not just a Burundian. We're dynamic, we're interesting, we're different, and what we do is the same, and the way we do business is the same. We can't take models that are already established in the Western world and assume that they will work in Africa. In Africa. They need to be as made for us, by us, with our input. So the focus of the Friends of Africa initiative, which was actually out, came out of the Casa Foundation, is to what? Bring Africans in the diaspora together to deliberate on economic affairs in Africa? When you look at the developed nations, 80% small businesses, middle class people, entrepreneurs, uh, contribute about 30% in Canada alone, 30% to the GDP of Canada, 39% in the United States, another 53% in Germany, 79% in South Korea. And so if you look at the GDP and the way it works in these developed nations, then you find that Africa continues to lag behind, you know, in terms of economic development. And so the platform focuses on that how you can actually bring together the professionals, diasporans, government parties, private sector practitioners and have a deliberate, robust discussion about how we can advance. And it's not limited to the discussion of um, how you can advance economic development or infrastructure, how we can actually be participants, full participants and collaborators, co-creators as African businesses. And that's what Friends of Africa stands for. So it's no longer limited to the, pri the government sector, it's now shifted to the private sector, of course, with collaboration of the government, and that's why we always have government representation. Mm. Uh, and we believe that's a more effective way of actually impacting socially and economically.